Hello everyone, welcome in to Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah presents another edition of Book Look with this book, which is actually not a used book. Nope. Two simple shapes equals 26 crocheted cardigans, tops, and sweaters. It says if you can crochet a square and a rectangle, you can make these easy to wear designs by Selena Baca. Now I got this book new um, off of Amazon because of a winning from Miss Bailey. And I can never remember her whole channel name, but it's Bailey Nuckter. And I will have her linked down below. And if I remember up there as well, I want to give away on Ingrid's Inspirations, also linked for her birthday anniversary uh, program, where there were a lot of giveaways and I won an Amazon gift card. So I decided to get this book that was on my wish list. I first heard about this book from the Purple Yarn Force. She is actually doing a make-along crochet along with this book to where every month they're picking a pattern and, and working it up throughout the month. Of course, I'm late with that, so I have not joined in yet, but we'll see how that goes. This is a fairly new book from what I understand. Let's see, 2019. That's new as far as the books I've been getting so far, 2019. So yeah, it's new. And there are a bunch of patterns. Like the title said, there are 26 of them. And they have all kinds of cool names and beautiful, vibrant pictures in this book. Love it, love it, love it. There's an introduction from Selena Baca. And look at some of these patterns. Wow. I could definitely see me even wearing some of these. I know a lot of wearables. It's like, nah, maybe not so much. This one is called the 24-7 Vest. Okay, maybe not that one. I mean, it's super cute on someone young and uh, who wears that sort of thing. And this one is designed, is called an intermediate. And I think this is one of the ones that doesn't necessarily follow a uh, square or a rectangle specifically. But if you look at the thing there, look at that. Okay, it's a modified square or rectangle. It's got back panel and side panels and it tells you how to put it all together in this book. And I really like this. This one... It's simple and straightforward, but it's still, I think, very fashionable. It's called the Cold Shoulder Granny Square. I mean, look at that with that open stitching there, but it is still rectangles pieced together. Love it, love it, love it. And look at it when it is not on the pretty model. But yeah, that looks super cute. And oh, this tells you how to put it together. You can't get much more simple than that. Even I can understand that diagram. Now look at this one. This one is called the Falling Leaves Super Scarf. That is some pretty open stitching in there. Nice design. I don't think I would have... I think that that yarn, while it's pretty yarn, hides the beauty of that stitch. I might use something different than that. It says a few simple increases and decreases creates this open work effect. Super sized scarf works up light and cozy in jeans yarn and the colors transform this piece into an everyday accessory. That is really pretty. Now living in the South where it's hot most of the time. Yeah, I, I might not make that one, but I still think it's gorgeous. This one is called the graceful green poncho. Looks very boho kind of fun and they're actually using shawl and a ball with this one and they're calling this one an easy skill level that is way more up my alley this is worked in one piece and the fabric is reversible that's awesome i think that this one would be a fun easy make yeah especially with that shawl and the ball it gives you the striping already you don't have to do any work with that it just tells you exactly what to do this one is called a Pound of Love Poncho. Wow, a Pound of Love can go a long way with this design. One skein completes any size. And the light and airy pattern means this poncho can hang year round. I agree, look at that, that's pretty. And almost anybody can get the Pound of Love yarn. And if you don't wanna use Pound of Love, I'm sure that you can use anything that you wanted to. That's a medium weight number four. Um, so, you know, choose your favorite color and your favorite yarn for that. Blanket wrap. Okay. Looks like a fancy schmancy scarf to me. Oh, Selena Baca has some really pretty things in here. Oh, I love the way she's wearing it there. Look at that. Okay, that just made me change my mind about it. I really like it. 
Now that looks like she is ready to go out, hit the town in some cool, cool crochet. The Heartland Poncho. That, look at that stitch work in there. They're calling this an intermediate. Uh, they're using Heartland for this, Land Brand Heartland, medium number four. But there's a close-up of some of those stitches. And I don't know which one uh, Purple Yarnivore Trish is on right now. I'll have to go check it and find out. This one is called the Flow Poncho. This one is not designed by Selena Baca. This one is designed by Anna Diakova. That is so pretty. I don't know what stitch that is, but I can see using that in a bunch of stuff. Wouldn't that make a really pretty throw too? <laughs> I'm already using this stuff for something else. I'm always changing something around. But yeah, that is very, very pretty. That stitch is really something. They're calling this an intermediate as well. And they're using Lion Brand yarn. Amazing. I don't know what that yarn is, but it's a medium four weight. So, you know, choose your poison. This one is called the Heartland Shrug. Again, designed by Anna Diakova. Always love a good shrug. And look at that. That is super cute. That's almost like a cocoon shrub like people are making. But this see you can see that that is a very simple construction and simple not meaning bad simple meaning someone like me can follow it point the way pullover that is super cute I am really digging that particular style there now they're only giving the measurements here in small medium and large I think that you can extrapolate and make it bigger they're using they're calling this an easy skill level um, they're using a bulky weight number five for it as well. Yeah, Lion Wan, Lion Wan, wow, Lion Brand Yarn Woolies Tonal. I don't remember seeing that. Maybe it's not being sold anymore. Maybe I've just missed it, but super, super cute. A lot of instructions with this one, a couple of different pages, but I think most of it is how to close it up, put it together because it is very simple shapes. This one, the XOXO Kimono, designed by Julie King. Now that's really pretty. I love ta I love the look of tassels, but I have a cat. I can't wear tassels. Life just does not let you wear tassels when you have a cat around. But that is very pretty. I love the edging on that. I know it's a strange thing to really focus in on, but I like the way that edging kind of brings it together. This one is the Astrid Ruana, designed by Tony Lipsy. Okay. That looks comfy and cozy at the same time, wearing it with those distressed jeans. This one is called Easy. And they're making this out of a medium weight number four, Lion Brand Yarn, Vanna's Choice Solids. Oh, look at this, the Stone Washed Shrug. Nice open stitching on that. That's really pretty. And I didn't get who this one was designed by. Let me back up a page. Oh, this one is by Jess Mason. Jess Mason. Okay. This one is a skill level easy as well. And they're doing this out of a, the jeans yarn, the Lion Brand jeans yarn, medium number four. Oh, and look at how this shrug is put together. You can kind of see how it's done there. That's pretty cool. All right. Inverted Triangles Shrug, designed by Amber Millard. The design with the, uh, the stepping of that almost looks kind of Southwestern. I think you could change the colors and make it very Southwestern. And this is another shrug. It says skill level experience. I think because of all the color changes and stuff. Um, but the, the shape of it isn't that hard, but changing all the colors and stuff, I think is what they say experienced. And they're using a uh, Lion Brand Yarn New Basic 175, medium weight number four is what it is. Look at the design on the back of that. I mean, pick your colors there, that, that's really pretty. Let's uh, flip to the next one. This is the Diamond Ruana, designed by Amber Millard. Another one by Amber Millard there. 
this one they're calling experience as well, probably because of all the color changes in it. Uh, because the stitches themselves are not difficult. The construction is not difficult, but when you're changing all those colors like that, that is another thing entirely. Now, there's your construction of it right there. Those diamonds do add an interesting point to it. Oh, and they even give you a graph for how to do the diamonds. That might be good to uh, learn how to follow a graph like, like I kind of need to do. So it's called the Penning Poncho, designed by Katie Peterson. Super cute. Very wearable. They're calling this one easy, okay. And it does have some alternate stitch definitions in there. It's not all double or triple crochet or anything. It, you've got some texture for some difference. This is being made in a number four. They're using a Lion Brand Woolies for that. So you can you know, choose your number four for that. And that is the basic shape of it right there. I really love the concept of this book. And I'm glad that uh, Purple Yarnivore showed us this and decided to, to jump into it with a, with a make-along. This is the Stearns Poncho by, designed by Katie Peterson. I love the colors in that. That's really pretty. Let's see what they're calling this one. Well, it would help if I could just turn one page, wouldn't it? They're saying it's an intermediate. Uh, probably because of the color changes and the outside edging that they put on it. Oh, wow, they're using mandala. All right. Another use for your mandala cakes. There you go. And several skeins of it. So there you go. Light and Lacy Ruana, designed by Kara Louise Rettbauer. Okay. That, to me, that just reminds me of a... Uh, almost like a beach cover-up. You know, it's light, it's lacy. Very pretty. And they're calling this an intermediate. And there are notes for adjusting size. This is a one size, but there are notes for how you can adjust the size if you need to. They're using Lion Brand LB Collection Cotton Bamboo. It's a number three weight. So, yeah. All right, she got the model clothes going on there. Very pretty. This one is called Meme Shawl, designed by Carol Louise Redbauer again. That looks elegant with that black outfit, doesn't it, though? Very pretty. Intermediate level, one size, but you can adjust the size. They give you notes for it. And this is made with Lion Brand Vanna's Glamour Fine Weight Number 2 yarn. Okay, so they're doing it with the number two. That's some nice fine work there. Wow, you can really see the stitches in that, the way she's wearing it there. How pretty. I could really see using the stitch patterns that they give here and making something smaller, making something a little bit different. But that is the beauty of having a pattern. You can always change it. <laughs> well, here's another picture in that. How pretty is that? This one is the next one. It's the blue boho vest designed by Lee Sartori. A lot of different stitches in that. Hmm. They're calling this an intermediate, probably because of all of those different stitches. And look at this. That is uh, the side of it, it looks like. I think that's an armhole. Uh, they're making this out of Lion Brand Jeans yarn at number four. So a lot of fun with that. Goldenrod Cardigan, designed by Lee Sartori. That is really pretty. Wait, we're making a cardigan in the basic, simple, easy peasy, two shape book? What? It says intermediate. They've got sizes up to a 3X in this. Look at that. That is really pretty. I'm wondering what stitch they're using there. I'm not going to go look right now because then I will want to go make it. But that looks really, really good, really nice. And they're using the jeans yarn again, the number four. Sparkle Cocoon, designed by Lisa Tori. Another one of those little shrug cocoon shrugs. Pretty easy assembly there. You can see the basic structure. This one is the diamond crop top. I kind of dig this as well. I like tops to wear over other tops, little layers. And this says the summer top is designed for casual layering. Wear it over your suit at the beach with a tank top in the summer or paired with a taut spring dress. This is designed by Emily Truman. That is quite pretty. They're making this with um, Lion Brand 
uh, 24 seven cotton. That's hundred percent cotton number four. So definitely a summer sort of a wearable there. And look, there's the shape. Olive cardigan designed by Emily Truman again. Look at that. That is an interesting stitch pattern in that. That really gives it some beautiful texture. Plus that sort of a ribbing effect around the neck and around the front. Nice detail. You know, you would think that just using, oh, you can make all these things with just two shapes, that it was going to be boring. They were all going to be the same. Not a chance. These are all different. The Oversize Square T, designed by Emily Truman. That looks so, like, totally wearable any time of the year. Um, they're calling this an intermediate. And they're using uh, Lion Brand Superwash Merino for this, a lightweight number three. Okay. That's a lot of Superwash Merino. So, yeah, might be a little expensive to make if you're making it out of that. I would think that you can make this out of your Mandela cakes and make it really colorful as well to use a cheaper number three, just saying. But that is really, really pretty. I like that. Tonal Pullover. This looks squishy and cozy. This looks like a thicker yarn designed by Emily Truman. It's an intermediate. And yes, they are using a bulky number five for this. The Lion Brand Yarn Woolies Tonal. I love the way the colors work together, though. That is really, really pretty. But it looks like it would be so, so warm. Um just because it's a number five. But look at how easy that construction is. What? Super cute. Okay, out, we've gone through all of the designs in there now. And plus you've got abbreviations and how, what each of the stitches are, what they mean. A little write up on each of the designers and that is always nice. You can go look it up as well. There are links to, to more of their information. Um, other contributors include pattern testers, the technical editor, who was also one of the designers, um, photography, models, some acknowledgments. Oh, and a visual index. Okay. I like when they do this in magazines. I'm glad they did this in this book, too. You've got eight of the patterns right there with the pages that they start on. Twelve of them there. And another six there. And it looks like these ladies all had fun making this. That picture is great. And here is the back. Uh, making crochet tops has never been so easy. And really, I love the way that this is put all together. This is a $22.95 US. It does not have a Canadian price on there. But, you know, if you're in Canada, you know the differences in how they usually are. But yeah, two simple shapes, 26 crocheted cardigans, tops, and sweaters. And, and I've got to go find out. Uh, what I'm going to start making out of this because this just looks like a lot of fun and very nicely put together. Each of the patterns in there is all together. You don't have to flip to like, you know, go to page 375 to see the rest of this pattern. I like that. Thank you, Selena Baca, for putting together another awesome uh, crochet book. We all know Selena Baca in this community. She is a great designer. And um, yeah, if there are any books that you would like me to do a look through, a little book look before you go and buy it, let me know. I'll try to acquire it and um, we'll see what it has to offer and see if maybe we want to jump in there and get another crochet book uh, into our collection. Thanks for coming by. I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button on your way out. And also, if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this book. And uh, I will see you very soon. Bye, y'all.